Yo, yo, yo. We're back. J Birdie, AD. We're back with another Heels review, episode two, season two, episode two. Two, two. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah. half just, a hope. Let's just get right into it, brother. How'd you feel about episode two? Oh, I think it was great. Yeah. It's up there. With, you know, it's up there, dude. I think it's one of the best episodes of the whole series. I can agree with that. At least top of the three right there. Yeah. Like, honestly, like, what I felt through, like, by the end of it, I was like, damn. I I, I was trying to, like, really think. Because I know you texted me beforehand and was like, yo, this is a good episode. It's a really good yeah. episode. And I asked you, I was like, this ain't the present. You're like, yeah. And I was like, damn, so I'm excited. But, like, watching it, I was really like, damn, this is, like, one of the best episodes of the series to me. Like, yeah. It had everything. It had the wrestling was to me the wrestling. Obviously, I don't know much about actual wrestling, but I felt like that storyline was hard. Yeah. Like how, how they they like got it back in their side. Also, the emotion in terms of like even like the the principal office like that scene in the parking lot, like that emotion there was hard. Good acting there. And yeah, her in the balcony was my favorite part of the whole episode. Say that again. She's in the balcony. Yeah. Was my favorite part of the whole episode. When the light hits her and she has the mic with the yeah. gun, I have a contract. Yeah, that was kind of hard. I thought that whole shit was done well. Yeah, oh yeah. It, really, it looked like a low budget wrestling show. Yeah. And you know? did you feel that, like, in terms of, like, from. It felt like the budget, like, like, the budget got bigger for them in terms of, like, the fair, but also for, like, the show itself. Like, I felt like that shit, that wrestling sequence shit in all the wrestling sequences last year. Like with the commentators, like you were actually like hearing it. Like it felt like we I was yeah. watching a wrestling show and I was like, damn, this is what they like. There you go. So promo. They did an actual oh. promo when they yeah. when they stripped out. Yeah. And she wouldn't like go. That shit was hard. Yeah, that shit was yeah. hard. Oh. Um, let's just let's just run through the the beginning of the, the show. Um so where does it start off at exactly? With Jack gone. Or Ace gone. Ace gone. And, yep. And Jack calling him, which I thought, all right, now if I have to be critical about the episode, I don't care about the Ace storyline. I felt like. Yeah, I'm going to translate the, the Ring storyline. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Like, that's going to be the main. That's going to pay off in the end. Eventually, they're going to wrestle for a, a vacant belt, I think. Yeah, because if they make, I think if they make a women's division. They'll yeah. let her be the champion of the women's division off rip. Let Prediction. people come in. She wrestles Jack's wife. You think? I do. There's certain men parts of like when she's running and she's working out. I'm like, oh man. And that might be a, a women's division and she she's a part of yeah. it. That's hard. She was against Crystal. That would be hard actually. <laughs> Even yeah. in family. Yeah, but she puts Crystal over. That, that's that's writing right there, bro. She comes in for you know she has an affair with with Jack, you know the wife comes in to wrestle her. She wins the belt, but homegirl wins Jack back. I I, I get what you're saying by the running part, but I thought that yeah. I just took it as like she was just thinking about. She was like you know, you know how like when you're on like a break or some shit, you try to better yourself in that moment, you know. But there were parts of the episode that I saw. I was like, oh man, that's gonna that's what's gonna happen. She's gonna wrestle Crystal. I like that. I like that call actually. Now, when so Jack leaves, I mean Ace leaves, and then Jack's yeah. kind of still dealing with like one the uh, Duffy DX the, the the wrestling company. Yeah, like yeah. dealing with the, their their promo. They actually brought it up. I like how they were playing it, and everybody was like listening to it. Like you know, like kind of like recapping everybody what happened. Um, I even like how he was like, yeah, no real wrestling fan will like respect this after he's like you liked it last night he's like i shotgun two beers too <laughs> like he's like this yeah. is not good <laughs> i like wild bill oh wild bill in this episode he did like the what you call it the heel <laughs> heel flip kind of yeah he's kind of been a, sh a shit person for most yeah. of the show but like this episode was a, like the first person where he like it really felt like his heart was in the dwl like trying to fix it and i like the moment he had with jack gave him the notebook like yo we can work yeah. together and make this shit really pop off with what, what you know and what I've learned. I like, like, I really enjoyed that line when he said that. Cause you want to go where I've already been, type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Because it's yeah. true. Like he's at the, he was at the height of wrestling, 
right? Mm-hmm. So, like, for him to come back and really help them build it the way that they, I mean, obviously, it shows, like, the show is portraying that this DWO has potential to really grow, especially with that show, like, how packed it was, the pop that Crystal was getting, like, yeah. I, think, I think what I said last week was that they're going to continue, like, show, like, how this thing is, like, going to grow, and it's going to grow out of, like, the actual DWO where they're going to have to, like, really upgrade it. Did you think Ace was gonna show up? No, no, no. I thought I thought he was gonna maybe be like on his way back, and then like they'll probably hold it out for like another episode. But the way it ended up, that's what I didn't like. Like the way it ended, it was like a little corny. Now he's gonna corny. he's gonna get hurt. The voicemail um, falls off the cliff. He finally listens to the voicemail, and it falls Ball. because of the shoes. Yeah, and, they, of- and they were hinting at the shoes earlier, like when he like took the sand out and the guy was one of the funniest parts was when he was in the actual store yeah <laughs> he's like dude do you not know the basics of camping he's like he's like do you have tents he's like hey god who's this guy this is on top of the gas station he's like i just bought beer i just bought three cokes from the, the next the down the street not a, we're not affiliated people <laughs> lie and this is it Oh, I think I was like, you better hold, with a bat. You better hose that down. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, come on, dude. I just do it, bro. Donatello's angry. Let it rock. Yeah, that was crazy. I, yeah, yeah, to me, it took away from what was going on in Duffy. Now, again, like you said, I know it's going to pay off. And obviously, uh, have you been watching the trailers at all? Like, after the episode? All right. Well, there's a scene in the, like, well, the official trailer, even last week's, where there's, like, a character, a person in the middle of the ring with, like, a hood on. And I was like, that's got to be Ace, right? Like, towards the, probably, like, the middle. I don't think they're going to hold it out to the end. But now if oh, he's actually what? hurt. What? Or it's just a cameo from a big-time wrestler. Could be. Could be that yeah. as well. But I was kind of oh. like, now, it, it, what, he's going to do the hurt line? And fucking Crystal's yeah. boyfriend now, he's also hurt. So anyway, yeah. They're both going to be hobbling around in cast. Like, he retired from wrestling. He retired from reffing. Oh yeah, I like that. Though. What what the guy say from from the other the other organization? He was like, he was like, like the rap classic. Class. <laughs> He's like, shut yeah. up, shut up, Kevin. Huh? Shut up, Kevin. <laughs> oh my god, bro, the show is good though. It's it's gold. There's some funny parts in it. You it's know, got, I kinda, it got the whole spectrum. I like the corny bad guy, you know, the bald guy who'll be doing the, you know, he's kind of corny, but he's funny. His little clique of guys is hilarious. Yeah. You know, I want to see some of their more, some of their wrestling stuff too. All right. So in the trailer, this is like shown in the trailer, there's a scene where he's talking and he says what I said last week. And you're like, it probably won't happen. But he was like, I think there's some cross promotion like coming. And then crystals with her like name on her chest in the middle of the, like the Florida ring, and the guys oh. are talking to her. So I don't know. Like I, I, it almost makes it feel like Crystal like just left ship. But like the yeah. way the episode went, where like they had the little spat, and then you know like she said sorry on the note, and then they still gave her the belt. Like I feel like that won't happen like that. I think they will have like some form of cross promoting somehow. I don't maybe like that will be the finale. Yeah. Crystal breaks in, or or does it back? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, that's be hard. Cool. But, Maybe um, she's, you know, she's angry with them. You know, she pulls off. What are the notable things you you remember from this episode? Um, there's a lot of women in the DWO in the crowd, bro. There's a lot yeah. of women fans. If you go back and watch it. There's a lot of women like in the crowd. Um, that was a cool take because you know Crystal Champion or whatever. Yeah, so that was. A take to, to, and they were getting into it like, get that yeah. bitch. <laughs> and then she kept calling herself a bitch. Was hard. Yeah. When she was like, you know, and he doesn't like when we reference a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> but I am that bitch. I'm like, all right, bitch, you better fucking Become whoop his ass. Yeah. No, nigga, the way she finished it was one to yeah. me was the hard. I was like, damn, yeah. got him no. triangle. Yeah, a triangle. Yeah. <laughs> And the way he was, like, just holding her up, but still, like, getting choked, I was like, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, great writing. She's really, I mean, like, her character is really good at wrestling. Like, I like how they, they, like, hammer that in. Like, she's clearly a huge fan. 
But like even her moment with uh, I always forget her name, dude. The girl you like, the late the lady you like, Willie. Willie, yeah. Her moment with her where she's like, listen, I gave my life to this game. So like listen yep. to me and then like crystal took that to heart like that whole conversation that sequence was like real because obviously they're going towards this like women i don't want to say women empowering but like it's going towards that in terms of like the story like you yeah, know they, okay. even willie was like we need a woman's division like you know we yeah. need it. it the times are changing the actions while crystal was doing her thing in the ring was cool yeah 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 she was like almost had tears yeah watch her thing because yeah, then just- I, i'm sure in some way she wanted to wrestle but yeah, she was Wild Bill's valet. You know what I'm saying? Like she was Bonnie Bombshell. Yeah, she or was Bunny, a Bunny Bombshell. So I'm sure that like for her, it's like I gave my life to this shit, and now I'm watching it grow. Especially in the DWO where I really put my heart and soul in this company. Like the fact that she worked with the Pops and now is working with the Son. I think that's yeah. why. Like I think the Pops probably got like a way different version of her, and now she's like everything she learned from the Pops and like the shit that they gone through. She's like putting it in this nigga's ear, like, yo, like you're fucking up, you know? Like she keeps on honest the whole time. And I like how like every time we're like uh when the place was packing out, and she's like, You might actually make some money tonight, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you might actually do some. Yep. Uh, but he listens to her. Mm-hmm. You know, he listens to her. Because at some I, point that's his out there, right? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, while Bill listens to her, everybody listens to her. Yeah, I even like their moment. <laughs> I like the moment where he slept with the the uh the fair lady <laughs> and she's like you got some you got some hussy in your bed he said she, she's a nice woman her name's <laughs> her name's constance you slept with constance that dirty bird <laughs> nice woman nah but even like their, their hug after the event went well because yeah I, I thought that was a solid moment too like that uh wild bill and jack both walking off and then like wild bill handing him the beer and like you know what I'm saying? Like, we did this shit type. I thought that was, like, a solid moment. Because, again, Wild Bill's a really good character. Like, obviously, he's a comedic relief kind of guy. Kind of a dickhead. But him as, a, like, yeah. a likable character is also really well written. Absolutely. I like Wild Bill. Yeah. You know? Because I do a motherfucker. It's hilarious to me still to this day. Um, But, yeah, the Crystal, I, I want to see what they're going to do with the women's division. I want to see that, how far until we get one. Is it going to be, is that going to be, like, the, fi- the season finale? You know, the first women's match, you know? Could be. Willie, Willie versus Crystal versus Jack's wife. <laughs> well, I know they bring in a girl. I seen a clip yeah. that they release on, like, Stars itself, where it's just, like, a minute of, like, the new girl wrestling. And then, mm-hmm. like, they're kind of, like, hinting at, like, obviously. This is before. I saw this last week, before we even recorded our episode. So I, I kind of didn't have in perspective. I was like, oh, shit. And then when we talked and then, like, seeing this episode, I was like, oh, they're going to build the women's division? So that's probably like the first girl they like bring in, and I think we'll probably get it like not next episode, maybe the episode after that. Like they'll build it up a little bit, like if especially if the girl gets introduced next week. Because again, stars put this out, so I'm thinking the episode's probably coming soon. I thought it was gonna be this one, to be honest. Yeah, but yeah, because we only get like ten episodes because you can only fit so much, you know. So you got to do a lot of it has to be done quick, and then you do something big at the end. Um, but I'm really excited to see the future of the show and see, I'm most excited about the DWL, you yeah. know, more about any of the storylines and the outside stuff. Um, I do like the Jack and his wife stuff. That stuff is dope. You know, I, I do. Um, I was, I was kind of curious about your take on that because like, it's a little bit, um, it's like an emotional like part, like where it's like real, like I like, I mean him saying like, it's like, Oh, the man I'm supposed to be. And then he goes, I'm just a dude. Like to me, that was like a real, like. Hey, I'm like, come to realization, yeah. like, I'm fucking up, dude. Everything. It doesn't get so, like, gushy that I can say, this is cool. You know, he's got a son. I want my son to be like me, but not too much like me, you know? Yeah. You know, so it's like a family thing, but then he's got his wrestling family that, you know, he probably should have gave up when his dad died. You know, but he's like, no, fuck it, dude. We got to do what we got to do to be Duffy Wrestling League. Duffy Wrestling wrestling he's like yo my favorite part of the show he took his xbox (laughs) he said you don't think he's coming back he took his xbox he said hey i know you took your xbox (laughs) you should come back though (laughs) yeah i mean those those parts were crazy too like the fact that he called them the whole way there 
no and, way. And like even the brother like watching the promo, which I call bullshit. There's no way he got fucking reception in the fucking where he was, dude. The nigga's the top of the mic. Huh? He might have Verizon. <laughs> nigga, he didn't have a dollar <laughs> to buy a fucking sandwich. You think yeah. he got Verizon? <laughs> what do you think the Duffy League playing? I was say, co owner of the DWL, dog, you out here making bank. At least $25 a night. <laughs> You're about making as much as I am on betting a day. <laughs> <laughs> $25 a night is crazy, dude. You know, but, um, yeah, but like you said, the, the outside storylines I can really give a little fuck about, you know, but the actual, like, wrestling company shit is mad dope. I mean, I you think know. they need it to, like, there's only appealing. so much you could tell. Well, that appealing, but also there's only so much you could tell within that story in an episode. Otherwise, yeah. you're just rushing through what you're going to eventually build up to. But I did the whole episode. I kind of was like, are they going to wrestle this one? Because they, they ain't really re- like they had like clips of them wrestling, but there wasn't like a match. Like last mm-hmm. year, like every episode, there was like a match at the end of the episode. And I was like, are they going to do that again? And they did. And like everything leading up to that was cool. But then once it got to the match, and like again, it felt like the budget just went up. Like yeah, the yeah. commentators there, like the way the angles they were doing, like even like the wrestling moves, like felt like they leveled up a little bit. And I don't know if that's yeah. necessarily true in terms of like the moves or not, but from my perspective, I was like, damn, like this felt like I was watching. I wasn't even watching heels. I was watching a match on something. I'm like, oh, this is why Bird likes this show. This is why people yeah. grew up loving this shit. You know, and then, like, it's a common thing that like, the old wrestler in the triple threat always, like, at the beginning will leave. Something will happen that makes them, like, not be able to wrestle the whole match, and then they show up to the end, and then get fucked up one more time. <laughs> exactly. What and that's, like, a Rick Flair move. Like, you start, you get kicked in the face, you know, and then you hold your side, you get escorted out. <laughs> yeah, I like how I came back with the neck brace. You drink a couple beers back there, shot or two, you know. <laughs> 15 minutes and it comes out with a neck brace it gets molly whopped again <laughs> you know but it's all for the crowd pop he comes out the second time and oh my god he might shit himself you know what i enjoy the behind the scenes like when the match is going on and you see everybody standing watching the match yeah and like their yeah. reaction i really enjoy that too because it shows like how much work they put in and how much they all care about this shit and even like uh willie making fun of like he's like I- <laughs> She's like, I-, I hope they enjoy getting paid in compliments because that's all we can afford to give them. <laughs> that's oh. the features. <laughs> you know? Hey, your boots look great. Hey, you lose some weight. <laughs> great. You know? Oh, uh, there's free Kool Aid in the locker room. Leave a dollar, though. <laughs> um. Uh, where do you think the A storyline going to go? I don't, I don't know. My bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. I just... A storyline. Um, with him, just him and Jack in general. Yeah, but like, how do you think he gets out of this situation? Just some random person, like, "Hey, you're Ace of Spades." <laughs> oh, go? and he calls his brother. And Jack nah, goes, that's crazy. Random person gonna walk by, walk on a dog or something, you know, or a bear. He's, he's gonna that's die. What, all right. So that's what I thought was gonna, he's gonna die next episode. That'd be no, honestly, they kill him off hard. Oh, they they got dude. guts. They got guts. <laughs> Mostly about, yeah, then next week. But, oh, show heels. Fan favorite has been canceled by stars. Oh, man. <laughs> nah, but I, that's what I thought was going to happen. Not him falling, but a bear, like. Fucking him up. Yeah, or, like, scaring him a little. Because they kept, like, saying that. The bear, he's like, yo, bears. Then we walk, when he walks up, grabs a fucking random stick that's, like, perfect size for him. You saw he just looked down big and I was like, oh, that's so stupid. But then he walks by the sign and it's a bear. So I was like, damn, a bear's going to come and fuck him up or fuck his tent up or something. You know what I mean? Nigga slips. I slipped. I fell. I fell. In nah, but I, didn't like, I mean, obviously he fell and he got hurt. I didn't like that they like emphasized that his leg was hurt because I was like, I don't want him to come back. Now he's got to build back up. This kid's already gone through a lot. Like, it's like you knock him down to knock him down again. Like. Hi, Gohan. <laughs> and he's like, technically, he is the best wrestler for them. Right? Yeah. That, like, the girl, I mean, now that Crystal's there, obviously she's going to sell because she brings a different demographic. But having Crystal and Ace there benefits the DWL more than yeah. having her fight Jack every time, you know? Yeah. Jack can wrestle, though. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's he's been doing it his whole life. That and mm-hmm. selling fuck 
lawnmowers. Down Duffy. I'm Duffy. <laughs> I sell lawnmowers. I hear two for one drinks in Duffy. Um, yeah, man. Do that. Playing in Duffy, they're like, I owe you one. <laughs> oh, man. Shout out Duffy. <laughs> that <Duffy. laughs> Hey, yo, shout out to you. All they owe the, you. The, hey, all through the town, just know if you get one drink, they owe you one. <laughs> Three drinks, they owe you one. <laughs> That's hard. Um, all right, man. We're about to at the 20-minute mark. Bang, bang. What, what'd you give this episode? Like the heels episode? Yeah, this this episode two. Um, eight four. Yeah, I'm going like eight seven. I really like this one. Maybe nine, like nine nine one. I might give it a. I think it, I truly believe this was the best episode of heel. It could be the best of heels because even like the season finale didn't. This shit brought me through like a roller coaster. Like I felt the shit he was going through with his wife. <laughs> the, the the A shit pissed me off enough to be like eh. <laughs> Fuck it, the wrestling was good. Crystal winning the belt again, I thought was solid. And like, just as a two time DWL champion, does that count? Could be right. Stripped, won it again. And really, it was vacant. It was vacant when she won it. And she won it fair. She started the match in it, so you can't even throw that in. Interesting. So she's a two time DWL champion? Like that. Is she the first two time DWL? Nah, I feel like Jack is Spade. Or maybe Wild Bill and, and the dad. And the dad as well. But I'm saying Jack is Spade definitely did it. Because Ace came, got the belt, and Jack got it back at some point. Did it? Did that happen? I feel like that happened, but I could be wrong. Maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm rewriting it. DWL history. Yo, you know what would be great for the show? If they did DWL marketing. Like, did, like, promos like that on, a, like, a site? That would be... Because I feel like... All right, so obviously we're doing reviews. We're kind of doing it for reviews as well. We love the show. We enjoy it. But we're also trying to build a, a media company here. I don't see the traction of heels going the way the show makes me feel. Like, the show makes me feel this is a great show and, like, people should be watching it. But when I look online, it's like the people that are covering are getting very minimal views. There's not that many re- people reviewing it in general, right? So I'm like, damn, like, where's the disconnect? Maybe... and. Like, you would think, like, as, like, wrestling's huge. You know, like, all my friends, you, a lot of my friends, like, grew up loving wrestling to this day. Like, Llama, you know what I'm saying? Like, generational. This shit's generational, so. Huh? To this day. To this day, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But it's so generational that I thought this kind of show would connect with people. But, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's on stars and they're not fucking doing the right thing. Nah, dude. 50 cents is about to get that a lot of there, dude. Uh, but, anyways, so you gave it what, A5? A4. A4. I'll give it a, I'll give it an A9. Almost 9, but there might be a better episode, especially since this being the second. There might be a higher yeah. one, right? So, yeah, it's be higher ones, dude. So, Heels Episode 2. Let us know what you thought about it. Let us know in the comments. Like, subscribe if you want to see more Heels content. And support the people that are doing the heels reviews. You know what I'm saying? If you like the show, because you know, don't sleep on them. Sleep on it. Sleep on it. All right. Hashtag. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm AD J Birdie. Heels AD. episode two, season Birdie. two. We out.